Hello everybody, this is David in the UK, if you don't know me, and I am live right now on Tuesday at just gone half past five in the afternoon. And as you can see, I'm right out in the middle of the British countryside uh, on the towpath, and that is the Grand Union Canal behind me the stretch that connects the South Oxford Canal to the North Oxford Canal, but it's the Grand Union. And it's been an incredibly hot day, very hot. So much so, I stopped cruising um, about two o'clock, I think it was, and I've just been working inside. Uh, so much to catch up on with my work life. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, about three three hours easily I've gone three and a half hours on that and I've got another couple of hours to do tonight it's just emails 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 but I've been reading the response to this morning's um, to the message I put up this morning my Monday morning chat which is 24 hours late so it was the Tuesday morning chat and God reading the comments it really has uh, hit home with so many. And it's not just the comments on YouTube, but the private messages that have been sent to me and the emails. I had no idea it would have had such a profound effect. And the thing is, your comments have had a profound effect on me. So much so, that I want to make this part two and carry on talking a bit more. I've got no notes. This is just coming straight from inside here. So please don't think I'm ignoring you. I can see we've got folk coming on left, right and centre now. Uh, I'm not going to acknowledge you at the moment because I want to get off my chest what I want to talk about and then we'll have a bit of free time at the end. Okay? So the first thing is... So many of you have found that the haters in your lives are family um, and good friends. At least you know that and that should be able to help you in some way deal with the situation. But it still isn't easy to live in that environment knowing that you've got family members and people that you thought were good friends who are truly uh, not loving you in the way that you should be loved and that is so hurtful and it doesn't help you and some of you have even stopped going out until today that you won't walk down the road because there are family members that live just around the corner and <laughs> the message this morning hit home for two or three where they said You've made a firm decision. And you say, okay, enough is enough. Going to go outside the door, going to go for a walk, and you did it. You did it. And I want to say well done, you know, because that takes courage. It takes guts. Well done for doing that. And I'm not being patronising or condescending. I really mean it because I know what it can be like. So well done for making that very positive decision. But here is something else for you. Does it actually matter what other people think of you? Does it? Now, you may very well disagree with me, and I'm not going to be offended if you do, but I want to say to you, <laughs> what people think of you and what people think of me, it's none of my business. They can make their own judgments. You can make your own judgments about me. And if you don't like me, if you don't like what I say, if it really pains you to see me on YouTube, you know, block me, get rid of me. If it makes you really sad and it's not making a difference to your day, you know, get rid of me. Because um, I don't really give a monkeys about people not liking me. I really don't. When I was ill in Japan, and I wasn't on full strength. And it got to me then. The trolls got to me. It's over. It really is over. Now, there were some lovely Christian messages in the comments on there. 
uh, saying, you know, just send them love, send them love. And I am a Christian, okay? I am a Christian. But there are some things you have to just let go and let God take over. You don't have to keep reminding God that um, he needs to be sending more love to such and such a person and so on. You know, do it, hand it over and get on with our lives. Don't let them keep worrying us. So I said this to one of my friends in Florida face to face oh, two or three years ago when somebody had hurt him. And I said, well, why is it affecting you like this? And he's 10 years my senior. And I said, why is it affecting you like this? Why are you letting it get to you? Because it's none of your business what he thinks of it. Oh, yes, it is, David. It is my business. If people don't like me, I need to know. And you know, I think, no, you need, okay, it's okay to know but you don't let it get to you and drag you under. That's the important thing. Um, but we'll never agree on that. He and I were good friends, but we'll never ever agree on it. Life is for living, and if you allow things to hold you down, it's, it's not going to help you. So there's something that really... It, it pains me to say this. Truthfully, it does. But, you know, we're stuck with family, aren't we? We can't choose them because we are born into a family. We don't have a choice about that. And if there are folk in the family that just are not resonating on the same wavelength as us, we shouldn't need to change ourselves to try to be acceptable to them. All right? Um, <laughs> and we can make a very serious choice of choosing our friends. And I really believe that close friends can be even better than family through the bloodline. Now, I am very, very fortunate in life that I've got some lots of, lots of acquaintances that I get on well with, but the actual close friends, I could probably just about get on two hands. Certainly one hand and a few fingers on the other hand. Those are my close friends. And I surround myself by people that I love, care about and trust. And the trouble is, it's through times of testing that we know, we learn who we can trust. Now, I'm gonna go back to this blinking hospital in Japan, you know, and Diamond Princess. There was one person who I know exceptionally well, British, and she was putting messages up on Facebook, telling all her friends, pray for, David and Sally Abel, friends of hers, going through bad time at the moment, keep them in your thoughts. Or, you know, and you would think that this is a really, really wonderful person, wouldn't you? And yet the moment we get back to the UK, not one word. I've sent a couple of emails, but there has been nothing, not even a reply to the email. So what was the motivation for her to say that? Uh, for encouraging everybody else. It's all about her, right? Not about us. She doesn't give a monkey about Sally and me, whether I died or not. That's the reality of it. You know, she <laughs> she's doing it for her own aim. She's attention gathering and not good, not healthy for me, and it's actually not healthy for her. So choose friends wisely, and they can be better than family. Truthfully, they can. So I hope this isn't upsetting too many people uh, saying this, but it's just my experience of life. Now, no, she's not sick at the moment. No, she's not because she's posting loads of stuff on Facebook. She's a friend on Facebook, posting lots of stuff. I see it all going on there. She's not sick, only sick of me. So where does the Christian faith come into this? It doesn't for me. I handed all that over, okay? Now I take friends on the face value of how I see 
them behaving in the world and spreading their love in the world. But more importantly, I want to see uh, my friends who will lift one another up, encourage them when times get tough, all right? Encouraging one another when times get tough. And that's why the prayer group started. Um, prayer sounds like religious and I don't want it to be. It's for people who believe in something else, uh, you know, that certainly life after death, but it doesn't matter what faith, it doesn't matter what label you've got on. The uh, prayer, what, what's it called? Global Prayer Support. And I've put the name ABLE after it so people can recognize it easily, Global Pro. And we've now got loads and loads of members off YouTube and off Facebook here. And that's the place to offload. If you want folk to be thinking of you, praying for you, uh, go on there and talk to them. And there's no judgmental stuff at all. Absolutely zero, no judgmental stuff about you. Just say what you want and we will truly remember you, think about you. Um, so that's really what I wanted to say. Choose your friends wisely because they can become far, far better for you than family if family are hurting you. Okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, choose them wisely. I'm reluctant about saying something and I don't know quite where this reluctance is coming from. I think because it's somebody that's really close to me. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not reading these comments as they're coming up on the screen because it'll just detract from what I'm trying to say. I'll read them later when we, when I shut this recording down. But some of the people in my life that have influenced me, I, I follow people who are positive, who don't throw negativity all around. Um, and those are the folk that I want around me. Now, I mean, I had a lovely text message today, not from a blood relative, okay? It just happens to be the girl that married my youngest boy, and you all know her, Roberta. And she just sent a text through saying, today it's a great day. I can't remember the exact words, but today is a great day, feeling very positive, very energised, and went on to give the reasons why. And... Um, I sent her such a message back and we had an exchange for two or three minutes but she is the sort of girl that I look up to because she's made something of her life and I hope to God she isn't going to be watching this but I have said it before on, uh, on social media she's made something of her life and it's terrific so I listen to everything she has to say. I love the way she runs her business. I love the way that her mind works. I love to see that she does get pissed off now and again. Okay? But she doesn't stay down. She reorganizes the thoughts and she goes. And that's how I try to live my life too. Things will get me down, but they will not overcome me hope this is making sense because none of this is planned it was in response to the comments I've seen come up on YouTube earlier on today so if somebody in your family has really upset you and it's just not working out um, tell them how you feel if that's too tough what I used to say to folk is write them a letter, put it into writing and say, look, I want you to know how I feel and then leave it with them. You've made that first move, then see what happens. And if that hasn't changed the world for you, move on. Don't stay there. Don't stay there waiting for a change in them. You know, all we are doing are sowing seeds, watering those seeds, we may never see the harvest. And that's quite sad in some respects. But providing we do what we feel we should be doing at that time, planting and watering, somebody else might benefit from the change that's going to be in that person's life. And that's what I'm calling the harvest, the change. 
it would be great if we saw the change. But if somebody else does one day, we might be long gone. I might be six foot under. It doesn't matter. The important thing is we did our part. We sowed the seeds. We do a little bit of watering on that. Then we leave it in the hands of God or in the hands of whoever you believe in, whatever faith you have. Uh, so there you go. That's all I wanted to really say. Um, and it's very much a thank you for sharing what is important in your lives with me today. Uh, it made an impact and I'm grateful for that. It makes me realise the messages that I'm giving out, you know, that they are being heard and something else is just popping into my mind as well. And this is a bit biblical, okay? Um, Jesus Christ said, let them who have ears to hear now, he spoke to people and he knew full well that not everybody would understand his message. Not everybody would dig him, okay? They just didn't get it. But when a person's mind is ready to receive, wow, you see a change. But it might not be instant, you know? And you don't, when you ask for something, you don't expect it immediately. Just be patient and let things work through. Lives generally don't change in an instance. The only time I've seen instant change in people, and most of the time it's been lasting, is when Billy Graham came to London years and years and years ago. Thousands came forward to him and said, yeah, I want a change in my life. And they came forward. And uh, it made a massive impact on the people of England everywhere he went. So I just noticed a comment there, please don't react to the trolls. I will. I will react to them because they are not important in my life. Just before I came on uh, now, there were five thumbs down. I'm expecting seven or even more maybe after today's message. But there are seven haters in my life, as I said in today's, in this morning's message. There are seven of them. I know who two of them are, and they're close friends. Unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, I don't give a damn who the others are. I really don't. In some ways, I feel so sorry for them that they don't have a life that's really fulfilling for themselves. And that's it. They're not worrying me. I don't mind getting the negatives. Um, yeah, doesn't matter the thumbs down. It really doesn't. Because <laughs> if you look at the statistics just of this morning, it's 2% that have said thumbs down. 2%. Close friends, why would they do that? Jealousy. They see what you've got and they would dearly love to have the same. And because they can't get to what you've got, they try to make you feel different, you know? So yeah, people have got different reasons for doing different things, but uh, it's not just friends, close members of the family as well can be jealous. Unbelievable, but it's true. So don't let these things get you down. See, I can only see thumbs up on, I'm on my mobile phone here, and it's only showing me thumbs up, it doesn't show me thumbs down. Do I still consider them friends? No. No, I don't. Yeah. Acquaintances, maybe. I'll have a drink with them. Uh, but no, not friends. I need to transcend them. <laughs> transcend them. No, I don't. Yeah, so don't waste your life. Don't waste your time on these worthless pieces of... You know what I mean? So here you go. That's the end of what I wanted to say to you. It's really just to say thank you all and don't let life get you down. Don't let your family and friends get you down. Move on. Choose the people that you're going to have around you. Okay? I will... Look. I will address the trolls because if I don't, who the hell is going to? And I know it's common sense to ignore them, 
No, I won't, because they'll never get the better of me. They'll never have what I've got in my life, people that love me. So I will address them. So, you know, don't worry about it. Leave the trolls to me. You take care of your own trolls. <laughs> I certainly have got enough to contend with here. So, everything all right? I'm just talking to Sally. She's got her head out of the boat, wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Um, yeah, wildfire. Bless him. Whether you're a man or a woman, or you're probably neither, uh, you're probably a child. And, God, I hope the floor wasn't damaged when your parents dropped you on the head. Certainly sounds it is the way that you talk and react on here. Uh, very harsh, isn't it? Okay, so anything you'd like to ask me? Hi, Stuart, Tonya. I agree, family can hurt the most, yeah. Patrice, that's a different name, I like that. Tyler, Kathy. Now let Welfare stay. He's going to learn something or she's going to learn something. Let them stay. They're only making themselves look stupid. Let them stay. Piece of crap, isn't he? Or she. Rian. Have I been to the Faroe Islands? No. Is it worth going? Hi from Sri Lanka. I'd like to go there. Do you worry about the mosquitoes in the evenings by the water? I don't think we've had any yet. Haven't noticed any mosquitoes. And I'm sitting right on the water's edge and the sun's going down nicely now. Am I going to show my new internet connection? It's on top of the boat. Uh, Dave and Sally give us so much, don't forget to... <laughs> yeah. That was your sister. God bless you. Oh, thank you, Arthur. I appreciate that. Hi, David. You're very strong, real inspiration. Well, you're also inspirational. I hope you do realise that everybody on here making positive comments, you do realise that you are inspirational, that you are affecting my my life my thinking as well it's uh, it's not a one-way street that we're in here this adventure called life it's two-way and uh, if i can help you that's fantastic and by you coming back to me that is even better still so i thank you for that yeah billy graham awesome i thought i was going to show how the new internet works no it's just the same as you've got at home <laughs> don't care, don't worry. I haven't taken it the wrong way. I know what you're saying. I really know what you're saying. That message would have been so appropriate to me when I was in Japan, but not now, because I don't give a damn about them. I really don't. And uh, it, it shows that although I've got a Christian faith, I'm not always speaking the Christian truths. If somebody is an idiot, I'll tell them that I'm a bloody idiot. I really will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. It looks so calm and peaceful. I love it. It is, Beth. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Do you like Timothy West? I most certainly do. It's just so sad now to see Prunella, you know, her... Dementia has really sort of taken a very strong hold, but I love their shows. Yeah, I w both Sally and I, we watch them on the telly, on playback. Yeah, we do indeed. Now, I'm going to ask you something, and this is serious. Uh, when we bought this narrowboat, I asked for, uh, <clears throat> for names for it, and eventually Tranquil Waters was the one that came up. Now, here's the next question. I think the narrow boating channel should have its own name, its own entity. So what should I call the channel? Doesn't have to be long, just short, okay? What should I call the narrow boat channel? I'm going to separate that from all of the other YouTube vids. Um, Andy, what did you miss? Nothing, I'm just chatting. It'll all be there for you on playback shortly. But you sent me the photograph, and I tell you what, it was weird. He looks like me, but it wasn't me. I didn't marry you. Sorry about that. 
I promise you it wasn't me. Okay? Too long. Peaceful Travels Too Long. It's got to be a really short title to get, get your mind in the right sort of framework. And I want it to be original as well. Um, there's another guy called David Johns who used to be a television newsreader. He now lives 24-7 on his narrowboat and he does vlogs and they are excellent. And his channel is called Cruising the Cut. And he's got a little graphic on the top left hand side of his uh, screen when you go to him uh, got a little graphic there of a narrow boat and says cruise in a cut I want something like that and if any of you are graphic designers let me know send me some ideas give me a quote and I'm more than happy to pay for a really nice little graphic design that will work on YouTube all right, I'm being serious. I'm more than happy to pay for that. Tranquil travels. Yeah, it's, it's not setting me on fire yet. No, smooth sailing, no. Yeah. Any ideas? Well, think about it and uh, just make a comment when it's uh, in the next few days when something comes on the mind. Troll killer, that would be good, wouldn't it? I like that. Maybe not for the narrow boating, but yeah, I like that. Idyllic. David is really good on cruising a cup. Yeah, he is. Really knows what he, what he's doing, and he makes a damn good video as well. I've uh, I've been recording up to five hours a day. Camera on the front, camera on the back. My problem has been audio. One of the microphones keeps cutting in and out. Pain in the butt. But when I get time, these videos, they're going to be as good as David John's, I promise you. They're going to be really, really good to watch. No, I'm not kicking anyone out while fire. Let them stay on air and show how stupid they are. Piece of crap. Uh, yeah, really rising to it, aren't I? Is that giving them power? Our life. Foxy from Brighton speaking. Yep, all's okay, Foxy, thank you. Breeze in the canals. <laughs> I don't think I'm giving any internet problems now. Now that I've got new my, my new Wi-Fi on board, it's working really, really well. So uh, I've done quite a few live videos and it's working well. Power in your hands. David on the go. Well, that could conjure off a few. Mm. Nah, I don't know. don't know. Before you forget to tell Sally hi though, I will. MB Adventures, I think somebody's doing that already. Safe travels. Uh, safe travel. Hmm. Yeah, I think Calm Passage. Yeah, they're all good. But I want something that's really going to, like when Tranquil Waters came up for the name of the boat, just knew that that was it. Um, yeah. I will be installing, uh, recording the installation of it. I've just got my cables going through the window at the moment. So when I get back to base, it'll be a proper installation and it will be recorded. Calm waters. Mm. Lots of love. Calming waters. Sleuthing the canals. It's difficult, isn't it? Nothing yet. I'm so sorry, but there's nothing yet that's grabbed me. But is there anything else you'd like to know? Just ask some questions before I go, because our boating bliss, that's nice. Boating bliss. Mm-hmm. DDs and PS's Rail Adventures Day. <laughs> Sailing with David. Yeah, but they'll think it's David Johns cruising the cut. Hi, John from Brighton. I've never been mudlarking, no. Life is magical. Smooth drifting, reflecting waters. Sally and the uh, dogs are great, thanks, Beth. Dancing Diamond Dame. Mm. Do you know, I've got a new piece of software and 
I can track the IP addresses. This is how I know who the haters are. Providing they put a thumbs down, I can track. But you see, the reason I don't want to get rid of them is every time they're making a comment, they're giving me money. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? You see, Susie Mix, and here we go. Hello, keep asking questions, Susie. Welcome as a lovely troll. Every comment you make, I'm earning money. Thank you for staying with me. So, uh, always able. Yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? Diamond Dave. Yeah, but that's all about Princess Cruises, isn't it? You know, it doesn't really apply to the narrow. I don't do rail adventures, Foxy. I've only done one and that's in Canada. Abel's Fables. Mmm. Could be. I'm doing really well, thank you very much. Uh, she's talking to, she's FaceTiming her sister. That's where she is right now. Follow your bliss. That's nice. That's very healthy, isn't it? Follow your bliss. Cruise Diaries. Hey, there's some very, very good... Uh... Yeah. Am I completely recovered? Yeah, I am indeed, thank you. Um, I don't know what... I don't know the reason why, but I'm in better health since the virus than I was before it. Abel Waters. Abel Waters. Tranquil experience. Cruising the canals, Iron Crew on the waterfront, Able Adventures. Yeah, but I want it to be so that when people read the name or hear the name, they're going to know it's narrow boating on the canal. Um, our cruises. Or well, what about Able Cruises? How about that? Able Waters. No, I'm not. Keep talking to me, Susie. Keep earning me money, that's fantastic. No, I'm sorry, you can't see the dogs tonight. Narrow boating on the canal. Yeah, that's a big, long mouthful, though, isn't it? Canal, canal Diaries. Ready, winning, and able. <laughs> Narrow and smooth. Got there's some originality coming out here. Really is some originality. No, because it's not just about honey and pud, uh, Foxy. It's about the whole thing. Narrow boating on the canal. One title that just says that's what it is. If I called it about pud or honey, people are going to be expecting dog stuff. Boating Ables. Narrow boats on the canal. Ready where it might take them to the wrong side, yeah. Don't rock the boat. That is interesting. Able energy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Drifting with the Ables. Canal dreams. Do you know that would that would work. Canal dreams. Yes, isn't it fantastic? You can see this is live because, A, I'm answering you as you're putting the comments in. Um, and I'll do a couple more of these before we get back uh, home as well. But it's just that this afternoon, it's just been work, work, work. Uh, we've been moored up four hours, I think, now. And it's just been work, work, work. I need a break and this is relaxation for me. You know, uh, yeah, I like that canal. Canal Dreams, I like that. Great view, totally relaxing. Sure is. From Seville in Spain. Yeah. Okay, have you got any questions? If not, I'm going to be... Uh, I love these narrowboat vlogs. There is someone with an Airedale vlogging. Yeah, you know, lots of the canal boats, the owners do have dogs on board because they're excellent guard dogs should anybody decide to um, get on the board on the boat in the middle of the night the dogs would wake everybody up 
Cut in time, I like that, but it's a little bit like cruising on the cut, isn't it? Now, who was that? Was it Susie that said, uh, no, Mrs. Mop, get a life, old man. Boy, I have got a life. I think it's probably better than yours. Have you made your first million yet? I wonder. Self-made as well. Self-made. Just back from work. What was the question? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yes, Janet, it's true. It's true. Because you do get folk that are jealous. It's a shame, but it's life. Stay afloat. I've seen that somewhere else. I've seen that. Boating Abel's Dave. Tranquil Abel's. So it's about money now. I can make it about money if you like. Yeah, I can easily make it about money. I wonder how much you've got. Bugger all, living off the state, my guess is. Living off the state, living off benefits. All the taxes I pay, thousands a year, to help people like you. Get a life. Abel's Cruises. Narrowboats with Steersman David Abel. Yeah. Delightful dreams. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Profited from financial disasters. You're absolutely right. Hundreds of people have profited uh, because of the donations that we've made. How much have you donated, just as a matter of interest? Ours runs into thousands. How much have you donated? Bugger all, could you live off the state? You're worthless and useless. But that's your choice, isn't it? I have a choice to have a really great life. End of. No, keep the trolls on. They're earning me money. That's fine. No, I'm not getting angry. If you want to see me angry, no, you don't want to see me angry. You think you're getting your reaction and you're so darn wrong. Really are. I just feel really, really sorry for these pillocks. Travelling tranquil... Gluttonous greed. Come on, Foxy. That is not me. Yeah, they're my trolls. They're my pet trolls. If only I could keep them in a cage and put a blanket over them at night so they don't hurt anybody and worry anybody. In the morning, wake them up, throw a bucket of water over them. No, it wouldn't be a bucket of water. It would be what comes naturally, if you know what I mean, all over them. That's how much they're welcome. Abel's through the locks. Right, I'm being waved at. My evening meal is ready. The Abel Kingfisher. I like that. Anything to do with kingfishers, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a hot summer's day, and if you put sun cream on, you notice how it attracts all those little flies and you just smack them, get rid of them? Well, they're irritants. And these are what my trolls are. They're irritating you. Just let them stay, enjoy them, and feel sorry for them because they don't have a life apart from trying to ruin other people's. Tranquil trolling. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? King of Dreams, yeah. All done? Yeah, I've got to take our little doggies for a walk before we eat. So, uh, yeah, don't worry, Foxy. I, I know where you're at. Don't worry about it, mate. Sayonara. What is that, Sayonara? I'm try I've heard of that, and I'm trying to think. What's Sayonara? Yeah, we all know what they are. 
So let's not focus on them anymore now. They've earned me a bit of money tonight, so I'm very grateful to them. Goodbye in Japan. It's Japanese, is it? Sayonara. Oh, I wish I knew that when we were out in Japan. I will pass that on, Beth. Thank you. It means goodbye. Okay. Enjoy your food. Uh, it's lasagna tonight. No, it's not. It's pork chop. We're having pork chop tonight. No, we're not locked in. Yeah, we do earn from the ads, but the longer you stay on, the more ads come through. So that's where I'm getting it. <laughs> There's a, the next door boat, the dog has come up to listen to me. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Uh, good, I'm glad you use advert blocker, but you can't block me, can you? You're getting the adverts of mine, definitely, without any doubt. Bye. Have a great evening wherever you are or a great morning, whichever part of the world you're in. Bye-bye. -bye. Mrs. Mott, you won't. You'll have to change your name to get back on. You are blocked.